Okay, so thanks for tuning in. So uh, here's the eight utility poles unpainted but in place. I, I decided where I want to put them. Um, I'll show you how I mounted them to the layout in just a second. Uh, here's the first pole by the DQ here. Uh, I'm working on this bridge. There's a bridge uh, that goes across here. So I needed to finish the pole first because I, you know, I want to know know how high I want that bridge section, which will just be the kind of the bottom of it there. And these are the the, the uh, columns. So yeah, that pole is going to go there, and then uh, I have this utility pole for the yard office. Just a few insulators on it and so on, just for power down to. Uh, um, it's a little power box right there. Okay, and then there's this pole here in the corner. The single transformer on it. Notice how close the poles are to the building. I wondered about that, and then I pulled up some photos that I have from some of my research, and uh, this is prototypical. Poles are actually, you know, like a foot away from some buildings. I'll show you a photo. I really like this pole. There's three transformers there to service the cold storage and all the power requirements that they probably need. And then there's this one I had to custom a bit because of the trees. I didn't want the uh, cables running through the trees so I just put an extender on here with some extra insulators to run the main power from here down to here. And then there's this one for the grain elevator which is a little bit um, dilapidated kind of like the grain elevator itself and then there's this one here's one of my favorites as well sort of an older style one it's got three transformers on it. You can see the conduit piping I added. And then you can see that, uh, well, from the previous video, I built these poles out of 532nd evergreen plastic, distressed and scribed, right? And then this is 332nd, this tube that I just super glued through the top surface of the panel board underneath. And then it's hollow as well, so if I want to run LED lighting, I still have the option to do so and they just drop on like that. They're not glued on. So, And then there's just this one at the end of the layout. So the one thing that I noticed, I don't know if it's as impactful on the video, but I think uh, utility poles are underrated and uh, I don't see a lot of them on layouts, frankly. And I think uh, we as modelers underestimate the impact that they have because they really make a big difference on this layout. And uh, I mean, they're not painted yet. They might blend away a bit when they're painted, but um, I think they're really, really important feature that we often overlook and maybe don't um, really pay attention to, but um, they really do add a uh, powerful element uh, to a model railroad, a layout diorama, whatever. So I just want to encourage you to consider that. Uh, you don't have to go elaborate like these ones. I just had fun with them. I just sort of got into it, but I wouldn't normally go this far with them. Um, but I think they're really, you know, they're a really nice touch to the layout. You know, they kind of tie it all in. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with them. Thanks for following along. And the next upload will be uh, after they're painted. Okay. I hope you have a great day.